On all of our bows, we fit a double loop laid in fast light string. Every string is handmade, and the first job in making any string is to spool out the right number of strands for the draw weight of the bow. We then trim off the strands at the end so that when we lay in the loops, the loose ends of the material feather out smoothly into the laying in. To make things a little bit easier to see, we're going to do a black and white string for this bow, and then you'll be able to see the two halves of the string more clearly as it's laid in. The first job is to lay in the loop. You twist to the right, lay to the left. And you lay in enough material that when you fold it back, you've got a big enough loop to go around the end of your bow knock on the bow. You don't want too big a loop, otherwise the string's a little bit too gappy. Laying the loop into the main body of the string is exactly the same again. Twist to the right, lay to the left. And just keep going and going and going and going. You lay in twice as much as you need at one end of the string, so that when you lay the other loop in at the far end of the string, and lay back into the string, it undoes one end as it lays in at the other. Having laid in the end of the string, we straighten up the fibres and comb them through so that they're going to lay smoothly together when the string is finished. And it's important to get these excess bits of twist out of the fibres at this stage. Once you've formed the second loop, you're committed. We measure the exact length of the bow along the back, hooking the tape into one string knock and measuring down to the string knock at the other end. This length is always recorded on the bow, so when you need to order a replacement string, all you need to do is quote information that's actually printed onto the bow. The bow length, and the draw weight. From that we can make a string that'll fit. Here Richard's trimming the fibres to length in a random fashion so that they don't all finish at the same point when we lay in the second end of the string. Again you lay the loop in first, having preset the jig to the correct length. You then hook the loop around the post and twist to the right, lay to the left, twist to the right, lay to the left until you've laid in the same length at each end of the string. As you're laying in at this end, it undoes at the other end, which is why you laid in an excessive amount of twist to start with. Having laid both ends in, you now rub the string with wax and then rub the, strax, rub the wax into the string with a piece of leather. This allows all the fibres to bed in together. And then we will put the serving onto the centre of the string. So you wind the serving tool over the end of the serving to trap it onto the string, trim off the excess, and then continue winding in the same direction. The serving is always put on, wound in the same direction as the laying in, and we have a clever little machine that spins the string while we hold the serving tool still. That puts the serving onto the string at constant tension, we then finish off the end of the string by winding inside the loop and then wind the loop over the loose end of the string until you have just one small loop to pull back through, pull it tight and that's the serving finished. <laughs>